Toyota undecided on timeline for GR010 replacement as hydrogen rule set looms. What will the regulations look like when hydrogen-powered prototypes hit the track, with the target for the FIA WEC's future regulations to accommodate hydrogen-powered prototypes pushed back to 2027? Toyota Gazoo Racing has some tough decisions to make in the next couple of years regarding the future of its hypercar program. Speaking to DSC at the Luzail International Circuit in Qatar, Toyota Gazoo Racing's chassis leader John Lidgens explained that the manufacturer doesn't yet know whether it will continue to upgrade the GR010 hybrid until the hydrogen regulations debut or work on a brand new car for the interim seasons. This is in part because it is unclear at this point if the ACO and FIA will meet the 2027 target for the introduction of hydrogen regulations. These are set to accommodate both fuel cell and combustion technology ahead of a planned shift to an all-hydrogen top class in 2030. Ligians feels the technology should be ready for use in top class racing in time to meet the target. Our colleagues in Japan are already running the Corolla on hydrogen and learning a lot there, he added. But it depends on how quickly the FIA comes up with the new regulations. The GR010 was heavily developed ahead of the 2023 season. As a result, it has seen only minor updates ahead of the 2024 campaign, its fourth in the WEC. When asked about its plans for further upgrades to the GR010 for 2025 and development work on the next car, Ligians confirmed that work is being undertaken on both. We are looking at both, but we are discussing with the FIA about hydrogen regulations, he said. We are looking at that as well. We have to keep our mind there. Yes, at the moment we are at the top of the performance window, but if others make progress it could be too late. The most likely scenario is that Toyota would continue to race the car beyond its mandatory five-year homologation period rather than develop an entirely new car for the current rule set. If the rule set is not delayed too much, we would hold on to the GR010 because if you do a full new car now and develop a hydrogen car in parallel, it would be too much, Litjens explained. For the hydrogen rules to be introduced in 2027, I think it should be okay, but if it gets 2029 or 2030, I think we have to do something in between. Progress, Lydian says, is being made on the regulations via a technical working group and that the FIA are working hard on it. He didn't go into any detail, but he did confirm that there is still more than one OEM seriously considering building a car for the new rule set. Is the other key player Hyundai? The Korean manufacturer, which operates as a factory in the World Rally Championship, has been known by DSC to be looking at sporting options to run parallel with its hydrogen roadmap for consumer vehicles. There are, however, major hurdles to come. Leaving the time frame for the rule set's debut aside, questions surrounding performance balancing, the future of the current hypercar rule set, performance targets, and budgets need answering. Ideally, Lydian said, a hydrogen-powered Toyota would be able to race against cars competing in the LMH and LMDH rule set to ensure a healthy level of competition. He does, however, recognize the complexity that would come with balancing LMH, LMDH, and first-gen hydrogen-powered prototypes. If you see how long it took to get a bigger field, in hypercar, I think the hydrogen we may have a few manufacturers that can come, but only with one or two cars because everything is new. I really think that the best first season to run is running hypercar together with hydrogen cars, and then at a certain point switch. The most challenging aspect, hydrogen-powered cars with hypercars, will be the weight of these cars, he concluded. I think it's doable, but we can only judge it when we have more information. A few days after DSC's conversation with Ligians, the FIA released a bulletin concerning hydrogen technology following the latest FIA World Motor Sport Council meeting. It focuses on liquid hydrogen technology as a potential solution for motorsport in the future. While it doesn't directly reference the forthcoming hydrogen category for the FIA WEC, it is clearly relevant and marks another small step closer to clarity on the direction of the forthcoming regulation set. As part of the FIA's Energy Transition Roadmap, which defines the gradual introduction of sustainable power sources in motorsport, 
the FIA continues development of hydrogen fuel power units across different disciplines and competitions, the statement reads. As the next phase, the FIA will focus its efforts on contribution to the development and promotion of solutions based on hydrogen stored in liquid form, LH2. Given the tank's characteristics, lower volume and weight compared to compressed gas tanks, CGH2, liquid storage form is better suited to the demanding environment of motorsport competitions, where optimization is key. This also allows the powertrain layout to remain closer to the one of a conventional combustion-powered car compared with vehicles accommodating compressed gas tanks. Solutions utilizing compressed gas storage type will be considered as interim solutions, provided minimum safety and technical requirements are met. The FIA has been leading the work on regulations for hydrogen-powered vehicles and motorsport, with safety being one of the key considerations since 2019 when it formed its FIA Hydrogen Technical Working Group, gathering numerous manufacturers and industry-leading companies.